So, Lee, Please. I'm Doug Robinson. Doug, thanks for being here. Oh, it, we're, we're just delighted. How'd you do in the show? Oh. So you're from? We're from outside of Philadelphia. Okay. And my wife and I are running a, a, a folk art business right, right now, antique business, which we've loved and we've kind of done that. Uh, we've been collectors all our lives, right. and once we retired, then we're doing this full time. So. That's great. That's perfect. I mean, you know, you first you started out as collectors. Is it hard to sell things now that you buy when you're used to keeping them all or not? Well, it's, it's, it's tough because we want to keep them all in the house. But, right. And we've decorated with antiques all our lives. So it's, uh, well, a lot of our stuff is in our house. And, and when we sell it, it's like giving away something. A child, right, yes, right, or something. Yes. But he brought some children here. Yes, right? absolutely. And, and oh, I loved it. Yeah. Well, let's start with this guy. We, we found this box. In Western Pennsylvania, uh, Western Massachusetts. Right. Okay. And what we like to do, uh, we like to shop in in uh, New England right. and bring stuff back to Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And this had a, uh, a kind of a light uh, provenance right. to uh, to Pennsylvania. We're not absolutely sure. Okay. But, uh, it's yeah. uh, it's it's definitely Pennsylvania that feels it, right? Yeah, Pennsylvania well, it, German. Yeah. It is, and, and the. Uh, uh, this oh, yeah, the help. bird. This is a distal fink. Yep. Uh, uh, actually, yep, so Germanic in origin, but yes. uh, uh, it's Pennsylvania Dutch and folk here, art. And, and this here. is an, almost an exact copy yep. of a plate. Yes. Uh, a slip slip. plate uh, yep. in yep. the Pennsylvania Museum of Art. So I've, I've held that plate, believe it or not. Have <laughs> you really? I, I was lucky. <laughs> yeah, I was in the museum, and, uh, I, and they knew I was a red bird. Not. But anyway, yeah, I, that yeah. exact plate is burned in the, yeah. into my mind, and it's... And it's identical. It's amazing. I mean, look at that. It's just literally the same. So, so, so we were delighted to bring this back, but it, you know, it's it's got the old, uh, 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 the old uh, pencil hinges. Yeah, it's got a pin hinges. Pin hinges. They're, and they're actually, uh, they're actually uh, they're wrought iron. Staple hinges. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, staple hinges, which are, and the and the, the interior looks really nice. The wood Ro here looks Rose nice. Rosehead nails. Rosehead nails, so it's really early. Single board top and bottom. Yep. It looks like, I was going to say, it looks like white, actually white, white pine. pine. I they had yellow, white and yellow, I as you know. I think it's northern white pine. Yep. Yes. And, and they use, a lot of people think it's, when it's in Pennsylvania, it's always, uh, it's always going to be yellow pine, but it's not true. They use a lot of white pine in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, right? And, Phil and, well, Philadelphia's a little north for, for, for the southern yellow pine. No, right, but believe it or not, uh, it turns up in Philadelphia on early, a lot of early pieces, mm -hmm. secondary woods, right? You know, the, the glue box, the, the yep. drawer sides, yep. The, yep. all that, the yellow pine. But, so, but this is this is very nice, and the, 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 the box itself is absolutely, period, and, 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 and absolutely wonderful. And the and the paint, I mean, the, 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 uh, the paint's dramatic and everything, and, and, and you said you blacklit the paint, right, and yes. everything, and yep. you found no uh, differences, right? Has, hasn't been overpainted. Yep. Has, yep. Hasn't it's been touched. Wonderful. Yeah. It's just you know, I love blue anyway, you know. Yeah. And then you have yeah. all this. The old all blue. This, uh, but this was this was flowers. nearly black when we bought it. It was very difficult uh, to see it. Wow. Uh, and uh, without, without without good light. You know, How long so, ago did you buy it then? Uh, we've had this about two years. Two years. Yeah. And it was black. I mean, that's a, that's a that's a huge thing. I wish you'd taken. I asked you earlier, if you'd taken a picture. It yeah. Really yeah. good, just for the future, if, yeah. for people to know this too. Also, that when you clean anything, take a yeah. picture first. Yeah. Because that proves <clears> it. <throat> because. Most people look at this box and say, that's too good to be too. Too nice, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. If, if they knew it had an old black finish on it and, you know, dark, heavy. You said you could barely see the decoration. That's right. And, and what did you clean it with? Volpex. Volpex. Is that a... Another? Well, we went to a, we went to a, a restorer mm -hmm. and he gave us some, uh, some tips. And oh. Volpex is a very special, okay. high-grade uh, cleaner. Well... He did a, it, it, it got it off, and mm -hmm. it didn't. It doesn't seem. It didn't. The dirt didn't seem to bind. I mean, you didn't pull off no. other stuff. Let's say early paint. And the only thing I I suggest is that somebody. I mean, have this because you can absolutely have it tested. For instance, um, to see the exact age. You know, mm -hmm. uh, back because this is obviously an 18th century. Yeah. You know, yeah. most had nails, the construction, every yeah. piece, and just to absolutely make sure that that paint. Is, is right. What else have you brought? This is well. This is a recent 
find. And, and yeah. we, I've been trying to get a little bit more into decoys. And right. we found this at auction and uh, recently. And it's, uh, uh, we're calling it a root head yeah. turtle decoy. Okay. And that's in southern uh, yellow pine. Yeah. Wonderful. So we think it comes out of the south. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. And it's all one piece, as you all say. All one piece. Yeah, you can uh, see that. Which That's, is which is uncommon. Normally they're they're joined in some way. Sure. Maybe uh, because you have to waste all this wood. Uh, I mean, if it's yeah. assuming it's one log, think yeah. about it. Yeah. Why 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 do that when you can just take a small piece? Yeah, and, that's right. But look at that. This proof. Yeah. Positive. So how old do you think it is? Uh, yeah. We're we're guessing this is probably uh, late. 19th century. Okay. Probably. Yeah. I think that's a late good, 1800s. Yeah. That's a great, great gas. It has a wonderful surface. Yes. Here. Right. Uh, yes. It's, it's absolutely pure. It, sh it shows use and yep. wear, but it's uh, as a nice patina. Yeah. Nice patina. Nice age splits, cracks. Yeah. I think at one time it had paint um, here. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and yeah. that's, that shows the age. I mean, you think that, and it, you know, and you don't get the feeling that it was taken off. You get the feeling that it was worn off. Worn off, off. Yeah. 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 I mean, that this was taken to, let's, you know, carried everywhere like yeah. that. Yeah. And I'm only doing this because I know it's one piece of wood. Yeah. I'll say, I wouldn't uh, also drop the rest of it. This guy has almost a stretched looking neck. Mm -hmm. You know how they have that wrinkly neck? Yes. This is great yeah. to, to see this detail. As, uh, they, they have skin actually hanging down, usually, yeah? Here we are upside down. But the, the wood just happens to repl mm -hmm. replicate that wrinkly neck look, like the old tur turtle. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you see what I mean? Yeah. It's so oh, yeah. cool. We I love mean, the eyes, especially. Oh, the eyes are lovely. Look at that guy. <laughs> he makes you smile. Yeah. You know? And one last thing, I, I got to tell you, I, there was, there's this pigment. I think it had just some white, some other paint on it, but that looks like black pigment, right? I mean, you look at that pigment, it comes up in here. See, it comes, it, yeah. it comes up onto the neck. Yeah. And, and then it stops basically yeah. here. Now, maybe that's because it was carried and rubbed so much. I, I think it was, it's black pigment. And if you had it tested, you might find out it's, find out it's naturalistic and it's mm -hmm. actually Native American. Is that, is that what we're, you were saying? Well, we were wondering about that. We weren't yeah. sure. Uh, I, I, I think could yeah, be. I mean, I, that's, I'm not an expert in the area. Mm -hmm. I happen to love it. I, collect, I used to collect um, Woodlands Indians, wood, okay. Woodlands Burl Burl Bulls. Yes. I had a big one. From, um, and I sold it. But mm -hmm. that is got that feeling. I yeah. got that feeling. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. that is. Don't yeah. get me singing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is, a, this. this is a fun piece that we really don't know much about. We, okay. we think it's Pennsylvania. Again, we found it up in, in uh, probably in Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, Good but, idea. Uh, it's, a it's, a, it's a penny bank. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can see the, the slot for the coin is, is okay. between yep. the legs of the yep. rooster. It's almost a hidden bank, right? Yeah. Like yeah. nobody would think. I, yeah. I didn't think that when I first saw it on the table. I didn't know that. That's a bank. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And, and uh, the brickwork is, is very nice. Uh, this apparently, when you look at the bottom, was, uh, was on something else. Yes, right. Uh, yep. That would plug that hole Could so the coins a, wouldn't, wouldn't fall yep. out. Could have been a cupola, but it would have had yes. to be a, on a flat, a flat top building. Mm -hmm. it's not, there's no V, right? But it does have the weather vane look, looking right. uh, section. But I, I like this. You can help, I can help try to date it by the nails yeah. that are in there under yeah. the paint and yeah. and, and you, you you pegged the date uh, what is it you think 18 we think it's late 1800s yeah. exactly that's, i was going to say that's our guess 1888 to 1900 okay something like that yeah yep. absolutely yeah. makes sense just a fun piece though and really just a, yeah it's very nice and this is paint in paint and we love paint yeah. uh, and color uh, is is wonderful <laughs> yeah we fell in love with this this thing it's signed it, and dated Oh, uh, how often do you bottom. see that on a yeah. mortar and pestle? You don't see it very often at all. American, what's 1800. It? So it's all all wood. All, all wood. It's uh, Mrs. It's, uh, a, it's a little hard to read. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, it, it, it almost looks like it said Sotheby's, but uh, it's, uh, they've been around since the 18th century. <laughs> so it's, it, it's something something, but I can see the Atwood. Either at, yep, Atwood, yep. yeah. 1800. Look at that. That is so cool that this this wonderful turned mortar and pestle 
And that uh, stayed together, first of all. Stayed together. I can't yeah. keep a pair of socks together, so <laughs> they stayed together yeah. so long. And the lime um, green is especially nice. Yeah, just, that's, 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 that you, never, you never see that. Yeah. I mean, even if it was, you know, I don't think that, maybe even if it was 10 years later, you know, a mm -hmm. little later than the, re the rest, and it wasn't, I mean, see the yellow, they already had the yellow there, mm -hmm. and that got more dirty only because it was handled, right? Mm hmm but I, I love to look at the, just just to think of all the hands that 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 yeah. pounded yeah. this down. And uh, this is a I think a white pine, is it? Uh, a maple. Maple. I'm guessing maple. Yeah. yeah. Two two. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Very nice. Very cool. Great. Thank you. Getting, getting near my one of my favorite pieces. Maybe now, that this one. is <laughs> this is a a special one that we found. Yeah. Uh, I get it. Yeah. The estate of. Uh, uh, I forgot his first name, Denver. Colonel James Denver. Okay. And uh, he was, <clears throat> he was many things, but he was the governor yep. uh, of the uh, Western Territories. Okay. Back at the time when the city of Denver was built. Okay. And so the city of Denver was named after Colonel Denver. Really. And, and he uh, owned this. He it's owned this. his estate. And, oh, and, and his family was from the Wilmington, Ohio area, ah. which is just slightly north of, of Cincinnati. Uh, where? And this came up at auction at Cowan's, and we yep. were there ah. and, uh, and found it there. But it's, I, it's, that's it's, great. I mean, it's probably the largest example of sewer tile art that we've found. It's amazing. Uh, and in yeah. a, uh, just a wonderful, rare uh, form. Absolutely. I, I just love that the, 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 it's such a massive muscular yeah. form and it yeah. comes down to these little carved wooden legs and the, of course the carved horns, right, which, yes. which, are, which I, I mean they look, they have a tremendous amount of age. They're, they look, they look original. Yeah. I, mean, they look, they, I think they're hickory or something. There's a name for this wood. I've seen it because it makes little dots. It, it, it's a dotted, mm -hmm. see the dots? It's almost like an ebony. A type of ebony, because look at the density of yes. that. How that, yes. that, that much that weighs? Oh yeah, that little piece of wood. So they want to have something hard and 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 and, and heavy, but and the legs. Um, I mean, the, again, for anything to survive, because this this probably weighs like twenty. It weighs twenty five pounds. Twenty five pounds. Okay, yep. so so uh, that that might can show off. Okay. <laughs> no, this is. I used to. Do, now I'm getting, I'm getting old, so um, um, I'm really straining here. But these are. We were, we were looking briefly at this earlier, yeah. and this we were looking at the the legs, and you thought that the back legs were absolutely original, right? We believe I'd so. Be, I'm surprised that any legs would be original, but they look absolutely really nice. Look at mm -hmm. look at the age, the, yep. you know, and you were saying and these are literally a different wood. So we you were yeah, we think the the front have been replaced. Yeah, exactly, and that's 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 great, and that's why that's why I know Frank Gagley is. For several reasons, proud to have you in the show, but, but, um, and proud to have you with Ruby Lane. But you know, yeah. you guys stand by your things and explain to people what's, what's old and what's what's not. A, a very minor thing on such an important piece of sculpture, mm -hmm. but people want to know those little things, and that doesn't affect the value to me. It does not because this is this is rare sewer tile work, right? Done yes. from Cincinnati, yes. like you say, and. It has real power and real, you know, even, let's put the horns back and more powerful, if he's not dehorned, <laughs> I think that's what you call it. I mean, that's powerful. That's great. I like the texture, you know, the texture of the, you know, and, you know, and you tell the story about the sewer towels, too, but, you know. Well, the, well back in the, in the, in the 1800s, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, I'm trying to think of the, the proper term for it, but the uh, uh, potters, yeah, yeah, the potters, the ornamental pottery yes. businesses were going out of business. Right. So these potters found work uh, at the sewer tile, and these right. act, these factories actually made uh, sewer tiles and and functional and, things, and things like that. Boring and, stuff. And this is it called end of the day work, right. where at the end of the day, there was there was stuff in the pipeline. Yep. They stopped making the sewer tiles, and then they were allowed to use this to make their things. Right, uh, right. And they made these. A lot of their work was done in molds, but mm -hmm. so to find the, the pieces that were 
that were handcrafted it's and stylized uh, is uh, pretty amazing. Is very special. Yeah, it's like it's like amazing because this came from someone's mind. I've never seen another one that you never will. Uh -huh. And it has provenance. It has form. It's sculptural. It's fabulous. Here we go. Well, this Look is, at that. This is actually. I mean, it's a birdhouse, a yep. birdhouse form. Oh yeah. Probably made from a, a, a kit because of the you know it has the, has this metal insert piece right. for the entry place for the birds. For but, the birds. But the real story is that mm -hmm. when you open this up, you look inside, oh. that this was used as a shrine oh. to... My gosh, it looks like a Joseph Cornell work, the modern artist Joseph Cornell with the... <laughs> like we took old cuttings and put them yeah. together, old clippings. But the, oh, it's a shrine. Well, to, these clippings are about the uh, Civil War Generals, Southern okay. Civil War generals that okay. were dying off. This was done sometime, we think, in the 20, 1920s. And he wanted to pay them, pay them homage, pay homage to yes. them. But the birdhouse is in the form of the old Salem Church, okay, which is outside uh, Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yes, okay. and yeah. this and the and the church, the actual church, yeah. uh, was was a, a major part of both the ba both battles of Fredericksburg uh, and. Uh, and, 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 and yeah. uh, the uh, uh, Chancellorsville. Uh, yep, Fredericksburg and Chancellorsville. They, they were the two deciding yes. battles in the war, Civil War. But the, the, so this is a shrine to the Civil War and to the, really to, pardon me. Uh, this is a shrine to those generals. Generals, yes. And in the form, wow, that's very cool. Of but the actual. We found it with. And now these are uh, some we believe artifacts from those. From uh, the sites? Yeah, oh, from the sites. The, 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 the bullets, my bullets. gosh, lead bullets. Man, they, 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 that makes perfect sense. And they found an arrowhead yeah. in the process. In the process. So right. this thing has a whole little story to go with it. Look yeah. at that flint, a flint arrowhead. Here they were digging for bullets in one of the two battlefields, probably. We'll read about yes. them in here, right? Yeah. The two, and they found an arrowhead, which makes 100% sense. Mm -hmm. Being a bottle digger myself, you, you always yeah. find something else. And and isn't that isn't that cool? Look at that bullet missed. This, there's a this one didn't kill the guy. Yeah. This one this one this one might have. Or hit a tree or something. Or hit a tree, <laughs> right? Right. Gosh, that is so cool. Before I get lead poisoning, I wonder if they have insurance at Ruby Lane. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I, don't, I don't hear anybody laughing, so they must yeah. not. So we, well, we love the birdhouse, uh, the so way it's done. It's, it's yeah. got uh, paper covered on the outside and hand painted. Oh, uh, yeah. All it's the detail on the windows. Fabulous. I love the way the bricks get smaller here. They come down the house when they yeah. come. Look at that. With the, oh, that, let me put that back in there. This, it's a, little, a great little story. Just history, everything. So this is from your collection, or did you buy it to sell? Bought it to sell. Yep. Bought it to sell. That's it's just got a birdhouse with character. I'll tell you, it's and now a great the, object. Yeah. And that Salem Church still exists. It was donated it, by the uh, by the congregation in 1961 to the National Park Service. It was. That's so good. That's so great. And it's a so museum it's, now, right? Yep. That's without the big circular hole for right. the birds. <laughs> for this last piece is a, yeah. it's a little bit of a mystery to us, but something that fascinates us. We love good carving yeah uh, and uh, and the, the form is a, it was a carved horse right uh, and we think a bear head oh yeah a carved uh, horse and a bear yep very cool it's it's in a hammer right well it's a it's a gavel we believe yeah that's a, uh, I meant to say ceremonial a gavel. gavel like a like an auctioneer's gavel almost yes yes and this and we and we th we think and again we're surmising but with the the W on the side yeah. this could be from the the woodsman order yeah uh, that uh, that's true you mean one uh, was I'm missing you tell me well it's the uh, uh, I have to get it right it's not the order of the woodsman it's the woodsman's oh and the sonic it was so, well it was sonic. simple uh, similar to that and it was formed in the 1890s okay uh, and 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 basically it's now an insurance company no kidding but, uh, that's what know. that's what they were back the those uh, that's what it started uh, out as yeah. orders in the beginning were were basically insurance fraternities yes. kind of right yes. Frater i think i think fraternity if I orders, can, yeah. at, at that time not only that makes <clears> perfect <throat> sense because you have this ritualistic piece with the bear and with the uh, otherwise i was going to say it's a horse Horse oxen ears, a gavel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. coming up with all kinds of stuff yeah. from the 
a certain ranch or whatever. That could that, be you know. too. No, could but I think too. you're. I think you're onto something there. You're with your your the, your theory goes, and they made a nice nice little baseball well, I later. Did that. That's mine. Yeah, sure, right. I know you didn't you didn't try to fake it up or anything, but no. Nope. I'm, I'm just teasing you. You wouldn't do that. Um, but it looks it's a nice job on the craftsmanship of the of the stand. Thank you. Very nice. You. Very nice walnut stand, mm -hmm. handmade by you. Nice black. I think black walnut, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, I like that you didn't burn it, finish it too much. You don't want to take away from the yeah. from the piece itself, right? right. Look at that. That's if you like so, nice carving, that's that's a pretty piece. That's a really pretty piece. I love the little little eyes. The little yep. eyes are fabulous. Yeah. Look at the little are they in sight? Yeah, they're in sight. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Really cool. Thank you. Really, look at the bear head. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and last but not least, right? Yeah. Uh, well, we, we do a lot with, with weather vanes. And, okay. And this is one of our, our favorites. It's a classic. Yes. It's Cushing and White. Yes. Uh, and it's their smallest version of the Leaping Stag. Mm -hmm. uh, probably made in the, again, the late, the late uh, 1800s, 1890, right. something right. like that. Yes. Uh, Does it have a provenance? Uh, not that it has to, but I just wondered. No, no, we, we bought it at auction and, and there was no provenance with it at the, at the time. Okay. But uh, it's the, a lovely the, size, you're right. Yeah, size is great. Gilding is nice. Yeah, really nice. Uh, yeah. Condition's good, no bullet holes. Right, exactly. No, you're right. It's, it's really nice. I mean, probably somebody a long time ago freshened it up with yeah. a little yeah. bit here and there. And that's a good, to me, that that's a good sign because it shows that somebody didn't like the fact that the original gilding, which is up here, yeah, this, yeah. this look it was coming off. So they went, you know, they wanted to make it more uh, gold, mm -hmm. and and but they didn't take off obviously the original stuff. They didn't yeah. bother to go over that those areas. And right. It, these seams all look nice because so much as you know, they do so much in the faking area with these. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and uh, you know that. So important. Look at everything. Um, and and, and uh, I remember on a TV show on on PBS, I had to tell a guy that his fish weather vane. I remember that. <laughs> oh, you saw it? Oh, I saw that. Yes. He was the yes. nicest young guy, you know. And um, yeah. and I said he paid ten thousand dollars for this fake vane. You, you, you remember? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah it, was, it was terrible. I, I, but I, we, the, the producer said we need a, another, a, a fake. So if you find a fake today, oh. and nobody wants to do fakes, no. nobody no. wants to tell anybody that the thing's right is, is not right. And obviously, I'm not going to tell you that this is a fake because it's not. You know, but it's nice, and it's small, and it's really yeah. Yeah. a lovely vein, really lo lovely. You got it. I think I think you should do very well with it. Did the ball come with it? Yes. Too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it came. It came on the full standard, uh, but uh, I oh. had some experts take a look at it, and they suggested that they had been married at some oh, point. Good. It was not right, so we that, took it off. That's a relief. Uh, we you, don't don't want to do that. What do you do with it? Yeah. Right. Oh, you left the standard up there. Yeah. Well, we left the standards in our in our basement. Oh, right. we'll, we'll find something right. else other right. use for it. But uh, that's when I was a kid, I used to. Um, my parents actually used to have us climb up in the cupolas to get veins off uh -huh. for people where we, we bought them. Yeah. You know, we, we, yeah. the people had bought them and they gave us 200 bucks, dollars to scramble up to the top of the cupola and lift it off. And we had ropes around our waist, but I still can't believe my dad let yeah. me do that. My dad and mom, <laughs> honestly. So I remember the weather, line weather vein, he paid, this guy had paid $5,000 for it. And I won't say his name because this is, this is, I was 12, so it was oh, yeah. half a century ago. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and we took it off. We thought, boy, he's not going to like this. And we t put a rope around it and had a burlap bag, I think, I, I, over part of it. But you could see how big it was. Because he saw it was way up in the barn. He paid the guy 5000 cash back in the 70s. And we let it down, and it came down towards him. He was, his hands were like this. <laughs> and his face was smiling, <clears throat> and, and his face went to, as his arms got closer together. And it was about that big. He thought it was this big up there. And when he finally got it, it was like, hmm. <laughs> and we were up in the barn, like, try, we couldn't see him because it was just over the edge. Yeah. And we heard later, oh, the guy was crying. Uh, but anyway, uh, but it, was a, it was a good lesson. And um, if you want to pay 5,000 bucks, which is the equivalent of 30 today or 40, uh, go up there in the cupola and look at the rain, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Great. But thank you so much. Well, though. thank you. Thank Look you. It's been a pleasure. 
real pleasure.